Okay, it's the 25th of January 2023. I don't think I've vlogged this side of the new year. I don't think I have, anyway. Um, I've just been watching, I watch uh, Joe Brand and um, Kate Hopkins quite a lot now because uh, Joe Brand? Is that not Joe Brand? Russell Brand and Katie Hopkins because they, they have audiences. They're also media trained, which means that they can skirt round the algorithms and actually get a message across without triggering anything. Um, they know how to word things, they know how to be politically correct, if you saw. I know that Katie Hopkins doesn't have a massive history of that, and I know Russ, but Russ has like, you know, caused some controversy in the past, but they're both kind of quite outspoken people and can't just be curtailed with rules. So, um, <laughs> it's got to the point now where there's a lot of silence, right, and when it comes to certain things, you know, like... This whole drama that we were in for a couple of years where, you know, trust the science, believe the experts, um, do as you're told, obey, comply, conform, all that sort of stuff. It's amazing how lots of information is coming out now that's obviously, it's obvious. Normal people can see how obvious it is. And, I, you know, I spent a few years getting fucking attacked by loads of different people. I've been into that before. I'm past fucking caring what people think now. If they don't like it, fuck off, you know? Um, seriously, can't be fucking bother with it anymore. Um, you, you know, I don't put my neck on the line and fucking stand and shout about things like this because I, you know, I want to get shouted at and fucking dissed that and told I'm a cunt. I don't, and why, why would I want to put myself through that? I don't want to put myself through I don't want people to hate me or dislike me. I just care so I feel like I should mention it because other people can't mention it and in this world there's obviously going to be a select few people that are going to struggle with certain things like instructions etc and you know we're all different right but seriously can, most of the population is incapable of reading instructions right so it, it's, and they don't take responsibility for anything so it makes makes me think to myself well, hold on maybe a huge portion of the population does need some kind of authority telling them what they can and can't do. Um, but this need for centralised centralisation of control and authority, which is un, it's not it's not elected in, it's undemocratic. You know, like the World what is it Economical Forum or whatever it is. You know, they 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 kind of seem to have control over lots of things, and they're not even elected. They're just you know, why, why do people want control? It's like all this kind of digital fucking ID. Well, if you're not doing anything wrong, does it matter? Well, it's not. It's authority, you know, like control for control's sake. You know, I should have the right to be able to walk where I want, and so should everyone else. You know, I've got no issue with certain constraints and certain rules, right? but there's a point, right? You know, <clears throat> at what point do you give up all your freedom for the sake of security? You know, there's loads of, you can look at this in all different ways. So, like, um, if you become a police witness, right, and you have to stay at house and you have a police car outside your house making sure your family's okay for the entire duration you're in that room, right, you've got no freedom. It's like being famous. You know, well, I've never written, you know, when I thought about it, people have gone, oh, but you can sing, you can do this, you could have been famous. I don't want to be famous. I the last thing in the world I'd ever want to be is fucking famous. Why would you want to be famous? Why? What, you wouldn't be able to just do it. Freedom? You'd have no fucking freedom. Having all the money in the world and, and being known who you were, nah, man, there's no freedom there. That's just complete enslavement. You know, I might as well be locked in a room with a security guard outside. You know, it's like women get into marriages where men don't let them out of their sight. They're not allowed out. Ah, you know, but that's that's like fucking. It's control. It's not right, is it? You know. So why is it right that a select few of people, because they in this world who think they're better than everyone else can tell everyone else what they can and can't do from a central point without being elected in but yet us as human beings don't seem to care too much about that you know like the cash thing it should be a highlight right that giving up cash the moment cash goes we are in tyranny but the thing is is we're in a tyrannical state where no one's taken responsibility for being the tyrant who are we answering to who are these people the shareholders, the people, these, this hidden hand of, not even government, this hidden hand of control that no one seems to have too much information about. And it's just got to the point where it's like, oh, well, do you know what I mean? I can sit here and bang on about it, but it's actually, I say it's not affecting me. Of course it's affecting me day to day. I don't watch television. I don't particularly 
know what's going on in the world. People tell me jokes, I have no idea what's going on in the world. I just go to work, you know, earn a bit of money so I can do the things I want to do. And I've got lots of hobbies and things I enjoy doing. You know, like I was beating myself up the last fucking year because I haven't been that creative because I'm always creative. But we've just been through a, a period of time that's been quite damaging to most people. A lot of people are fucking, their mental health's out the fucking window, you know. I don't have mental health problems. I occasionally get seasonal affective disorder and get miserable about stuff. But on the whole, I'm actually quite happy. It, there's things that have affected me here and there every day, you know, etc, etc. But I can deal with them. Emotional pain I can deal with. You know, like being angry I can deal with. Being upset I can deal with. Being frustrated I can deal with. All these things, I don't, they don't dwell on me. I don't hate myself. I don't hate what I am. I don't constantly question my ability. And I don't... I don't have any, what's his name like that, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I used to beat myself up because I wouldn't come out with something creative every day. I don't need to come out with something creative. What, what am I creating things for? I'm creating things for me. I'm not creating things to sell. But I could write a record tomorrow. Why am I creating it? I'm creating it for my own listening and not to sell and make money. So why am I creating it? It's almost like there's a... You know, certain things you need an audience for and certain things you don't. And I've realised that I don't need an audience for any of my creative ventures. It's my creative ventures for me. It's like clothes wire. I never wear any clothes that you see in a shop. I, I, I make clothes. I buy clothes out of a shop, but I'll amend them. I'll change them. I have to look different. I have to look at me. Fuck's sake. You know, everyone's going, oh, that bit of air sticking up. Yeah, it's fucking supposed to. Leave it. It's supposed to stick up, right? It's there for a fucking reason. I'm contacting aliens, right? Live with it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an antennae. Basically, my fringe fucking broke off because it does more than anything. And these are in there to keep it fucking dreadlocked because my hair doesn't dread that well, even though it is dreadlocked t initially. So <clears throat> it just makes me look quirky and a bit different. I don't want to be the same as the girl downstairs or fucking bloke down the road or fucking whoever's in whatever I just I've never ever fitted into a box ever and if I ever fitted into a box and became normal I think that's when I'd get depressed right I ever start vlogging and I look normal sound normal right and you go who is this person that's when they've got me until then I'm free so I'm just going to vlog right about random shit now like you know I'm going out on my bike well I'm going to be doing a lot more this year things just going out and enjoying myself and this channel is going to come back to be being a bit more fun i will speak about the dramas that are going on in the world but i think people like russ brand and um um what's her name hopkins katie hopkins because they've got me they're media trained and they've got a platform they can get that message out a lot quicker and a lot better than i can you know we've done a lot of legwork in the beginning you know that now mainstream people can see what we can see more and it's harder to hide it especially with the internet and and, and the means of uh, media that we have they can't control it um they are losing control um it's happening hopefully it will save the human race before we actually go extinct due to our own fucking convenience oh why did the human race go extinct oh yeah it enslaved itself and went in extinct because it was convenient at what point? Oh, and then what it done is instead of just being convenient, it then destroyed its world as well. Oh, really? Yes. It just took everything. It just raped the fucking land of everything. And, um, yeah. Elephants thrived. I don't know. So, yeah. Peace, love and light. Speak to you soon.